so Brian and I are here today and um, you know, slowly but surely, we're getting lots of awesome things from our baby registry. So thank you so much to all those who have sent us um, some wonderful things. We're very appreciative. And we're going to um, attempt to set this up today. It's a cute little toddler, or no, it's um, an infant to toddler rocker. So it starts as, I'll get this a little bit closer, starts a little infant seat and then transforms into a toddler uh, rocker. So we'll be able to get... Um, a few years out of this. So we're super excited to put this together. Um, but before we do that, so Brian has never changed a diaper before. So I thought it would be a good idea if he practices changing a diaper on what am I? <laughs> he has no idea that I'm doing this on my old American Girl doll. So. I'm going to give him a lesson on how to put on a diaper because he needs to know how to do this before the baby comes. This is absolutely crucial. I do? Yeah. The baby will not know how to change herself. I'm I sorry. You do it all. <laughs> so you've got to learn. So we have this beautiful little American Girl doll that you're going to practice on, okay? Okay. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to do this step by step, Brian. Zeke, do you think Dad can do it? He doesn't look like he's too confident, Brian. <laughs> okay, so take our little baby doll. And do you know which side, the side with the little tabs or the side without the tabs? Which side will go kind of underneath I'm her? I'm going to assume the side with the tabs goes on the back so I can read Pampers on the front. Oh, that that's actually very good. I didn't realize that it said Pampers on the front, but yes, you are correct, Brian. Ding, ding, ding. All right, so go ahead. Put the diaper underneath. Look at this. He's got some good technique going so far. Okay, and then what do you think will be the next step? Oh, look at this. Brian, I think you're kind of a natural at this. I might just let you change all the diapers. Oh, great. I should have <laughs> acted like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> look at this, you guys. It's his first diaper change. Go back to school. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Brian, I'm so impressed by that. Now, will he be able to change a diaper that easily when it's full and there's an explosion or, <laughs> you know, because some of those diapers aren't going to be that clean. So we'll see. All right. So now that Brian knows how to change a diaper, we're going to move on to putting this together. Yay. This is actually the first thing we've put together of the babies. So this is kind of exciting. Oh, this is a lot of pieces. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> so while Brian is looking at the next step, um, so today marks the first day of my third trimester. Yep. Yay! So I can't believe it. In like three months, Layla Jane will be here and will be able to use this. So it, three, it feels like it's been so long, but at the same time, three months just does not seem like enough. And I'm already <laughs> starting to feel like a little overwhelmed, like I'm not prepared yet. Um, but we're getting there and just slowly but surely taking it day by day, trying to get ready for her. But I feel like no matter how much we prep, we'll not be ready, but it's, it's going to be great. We're very excited. I'm... So Brian and I have put together a lot of furniture. Uh, in just our first year of marriage, we lived in three different states. So we would often just kind of buy new furniture, new shelves, and we were always putting them together. So we've gotten really good at this. So in my opinion, the hardest thing we ever had to put together was an elliptical. <laughs> it was when we first moved to Chicago, we bought a little elliptical from Walmart and we were up to like one or two in the morning trying to put that thing together. But we did, we persevered and we got it done. And my record shelves were not easy. To put oh together. right. Plus they weighed two hundred pounds. Yeah, we put together his shelves. We just ordered brand new shelves when we moved here to put his records on, and they were they were so heavy, and it was so hard to put together. But we did it. I don't know if he's gonna like not being the only <laughs> child anymore. Oh, I'm not gonna see. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you know what? 
I mean, I think it just clips around this thing. And then this. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's see. Like that. Fasten the buckles on the pads. Yep, make sure you hear a snap. Yep. Quick. There we go. High All five. done. Alright, so we got it put together. This is super cute. I'm really excited about this. So it's a little rocker to begin with. Let's see, it has these little things to keep her entertained and it plays music. And then I didn't know, but it also has a vibration on it. But we need some batteries for that. And then, like I said too, this can um, later on be transformed into like a little rocking chair for a toddler. Definitely, if you're having a baby, I would recommend this. Hopefully she'll like it. Um, I'll give another review once we actually have the baby, but it was super easy to put together, as you saw, and I think it's going to be fun. Hello, so Brian is on conference calls all day today, so I thought Zeke and I would get out of the house, and um, we are going to paint a dress, well, not Zeke and I, my mom and I are going to paint a dresser that's going to be used for Layla Jane's, all of her clothes and diapers and everything. So I'm over at my mom's house right now because it's her old dresser and we are going to be painting it white. So let me show you the dresser. So here is a dresser. It's kind of a, I don't know what you would call this color, kind of a yellowy right now. And we're going to color paint it like a white. So we thought that would go well. Again, if you remember, this is the cribs, um, cribbing sheet that we got. They're kind of like gray, white, and turquoise. So we thought a pretty white dresser would go nice with that. And then eventually I have to pick out too what color to paint the nursery. So I'm trying to think of what color would go well with all of this. I don't want just white because that's a little too boring. So I don't know. I need to think about this. So anyways, I am going to go change and get into some scrubby clothes so I don't care if I get those it get paint on that and then we're going to get started well we are just getting ready to start painting a shelf and I put a sheet to protect the baby clothes in there and Zeke thought it was a bed and he just he just came and laid down here what are you doing so this is his bed now apparently he says well grandma put a nice blanket I know me. Zeke are you just gonna lay there we're gonna have to paint around you well, while we wait for Zeke to move, I'm going to show you what paint we're using. So, what do we call this? It's, like it's, it's chalky finish paint. Chalky as soon as Zeke decides to get up from his new bed, we'll start, um, we'll start painting. But maybe we might have to get out another shelf. So, Zeke, we'll just, you know, we'll just work around you. You take a little nap. Don't worry about us. <laughs> You're so funny. He likes that. It's his little bed. Oh, Zeke, you're so funny. All right, Zeke. Can I see your nose? Zekers, come here. Turn around, see mama. What's on your nose? What is that? Were you sniffing around on the paint? <laughs> oh, Zeke. You're just a mess today. Now you're going to have white paint on your nose all day. <laughs> all right, after about three or four coats, it looks like we are almost finished. This is getting so exciting, just every little piece that we get done for Layla Jane's room. We're getting more and more excited. So we're just going to finish this up and then be done. Zeke approves of the paint job. Thanks for all your help, Zeke. So thank you so much for watching and please, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. That way you're always notified when we have a new video up. Thanks again for watching. Bye.